Viewers and subscribers, dancer critics, they are with you know, once again, you know, people. Today, I go talk about not nice, alkaline, and vibes cartel. You saw me I deal with people, but before me get right into it a little bit more, remember, if you subscribe to my channel, you saw me I say, and hit the bell icon. That way, they get the instant notification each time I drop a content. So, people, today, I find an article from dancehallmag.com, and the article titles Not Nice Talks Wanting to Help Alkaline's Career and Not Make a Second Vibes Cartel. You so I say people, I feel like say, this is very interesting and something where people really want to hear. You so I say, of course, my opinion. You so I say, as far as my just uh, my interjections here and there as I read the article. You so I say, people, and just hear where the, the, um, the, the, this article was read uh, was done or uh, written by um, uh, Shervan Williams. You so I say, so I'm going to make you hear what him have to say and I'm going to add my uh, two cents and this and that to it, people. Stay tuned. <laughs> So people, the article here reads, Many dancehall fans shared the opinion that Vendetta singer Alkaline modeled the beginning of his career after Vibes Cartel. Now of course people, that is left for um, up to debate. What do you think? Drop your comment below in the comment section. Okay, and the, the, we continue here. After all, he began indulging in tattoos and even bleached his skin. Fans placed uh, the blame squarely on uh, producer Not Nice, who began uh, working with Alkaline after he stopped uh, producing for, uh, music for Vibes Cartel when the two had a confrontation in 2011. Not Nice recently spoke with fellow producer Stephen Lenke Marsden on Diwali product, uh, uh, broadcast uh, during an Instagram live last week about an about his influence on Alkaline and the fact that he simply wanted to help the artist not uh, to make a second world boss. The Duala Broadcast is an online quarantine series featuring uh, various players in the music industry. And of course on that same uh, uh, platform, he, uh, Not Nice went ahead and explained that he knew Alkaline from school days and, and, and so felt inclined to give him a push in the right direction. The two attended Arden High School, he said, of course. Me know Alkaline, of course here quote unquote, me know Alkaline from Imago school and me did decide to record him one time and him never did flow right so me say go on do your thing and you'll catch the, the thing a little better, Not Nice said. Not Nice also said that Alkaline used uh, gimmicks early on in his career because he wanted to get the attention of the public. Of course, we, we know, say, um, viewers and, sub and subscribers, we understand that a lot of entertainers, of course, especially in a today's era, um, uh, we could have said maybe Vibes Cartel is the, 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 the godfather just kind of creating a way of, of, of capturing that attention uh, from people. And then, of course, the younger artists, them, you know, may have to capitalize upon us with them learn from. You see what I say? So, we, we know, say, Alkaline did do him thing with the eye and all of these things. You see what I say? And maybe that's what um, Not Nice is referring to here when he make this kind of uh, mentioning. You see what I say? I'm going to continue to read here. The producer explained that at, at, at that time, he was recovering from no longer being associated with the uh, Portmore Empire, or Vibes Cartel Portmore Empire. And, and the timing was just right for him to help out Alkaline. So of course, um, not nice. I said, boy, he did get Alkaline some help. You saw me and say, and 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 basically, they are try you know make him go in the right direction as he earlier on uh, mentioned. <clears throat> him called me one night. I think him did dip on entertainment report. Um, this is not nice again here, um, quote unquote. The night, um, uh, I must say, I think him did dip on um, entertainment report the night when he called me. So I said the night, uh, him said tattoo him eye, him said tattoo him eye. That's what um, Not Nice said. Me, when it done, him call me and say him never know say I have the same number. So him, him say him a forward at the studio come link me. Me give him the directions and him come. Him say him dep on him, him dep on ear some of from interviews right now. And, and, but him need some song, him need to build him, him catalog, him need some material to start work with. You see what I say? So of course at that point, um, not nice say yo, um, Alkaline asked him if he would be interested in producing some songs for him and all of these things. And not nice subsequently say yes, uh, or agreed to it and decided to say, boy, I'm going to help out the young artist. You see what I say, people? So, um, and then now the, the article continues to read here, it says, the two got, the two got together and created Things Me Love. Of course, I don't know the one that say you do the things and things me love. You see me? Of course, bad song. You see what I say? 
he shared how uh, they got um, uh, got the song on the earrings and how much of a struggle it was. Definitely was a struggle. But of course, I don't know say, as a young entertainer, try to break your way into um, the music industry is never an easy road. That's what I say. Alkaline did have a Rasta bridge in around him at the time, and I tell him if you can can go in the party and get um, this play before and after Die Die, <coughs> a Maka Diamond song, I'm sure it'll go bust. Um, them, them I say me, them I say me out there with um, them I say when me out there with them, the thing more um get more play. Um, so me I gotta start following the road um at night time. We don't know. So th- this is how not nice I tell the 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 um the, the radio here, the radio host of course. Remember quarantine radio, now that these things. This is an interview somebody I interview. So the article here basically just I talk about. Um, not nice trying to be that voice um, you know me I say I, I trying to uh, basically be that image then myself why oh, I um, I made it help alkaline for reach yes and for reach this and all of these things and 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 even to this point no viewers and subscribers not nice still won't work with alkaline you know me I say but I don't believe not nice um, would have render anything you know me I say beneficial in my opinion we have to throw that in there. You know what I'm saying? Nonetheless, not nice probably believe he still holds um, you know, that 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 sense of a, a, a direction as it relates to, you know, pointing alkaline in the right direction um uh, to benefit his career, so to speak. What we think about the idea the viewers and subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they, they, they do the song and them them promote the song right as so based on what me are reading the article or so. And from there, so the thing springboard. You saw me I say then um, before you know it, not nice start managing and all of these things. So I'm continue reading. The relationship would be um, mutually beneficial, and the peer went on to create more music, including songs like Move Mountains and Ready. Eventually, his music began penetrating the airwaves, and not nice also began to manage Alkaline. We basically get him out there to where um, people start voice him now. In at that time, the Alkaline career pick up. However, things didn't work out between the two. Um, he explained. Me and Alkaline did not fall out um, um, too, mainly because his motive be different. Maybe the aim was, yeah, me help you come to the forefront, then afterwards you feel like you reach and me now go really take that. So I guess he might try to say why Alkaline did start to move different as a result of the stardom of him acquire. You saw me, I did it. Which, I mean, a lot of entertainers are gonna, you know, get to that particular point. Our people in general, when they start to things are changing, you know, seeing you are gonna change naturally. Or maybe it's as a result of the fact that you, your situation change around you. And of course, you have to start think differently. You know what I say? But nonetheless, we know say yo, when it come on to certain things, um, you know, two bull can rail in one pen. Uh, uh, that, uh, that it probably boiled down to. You know what I say? Because a man now go feel like say boy, this a man at the panat level, and that the man at the panat level, and yeah, talk to me a certain way. I feel like it's probably a matter of just ego. You know what I say? I'm a continue anyway, people. Not nice has since said that um, his association, uh, his association with Vibes Cartel and Alkaline damages his music career because um, other artists are are so apprehensive about working with him. You know what I say? So basically, what he's trying to say here, um, the fact that he has affiliation or, or just kind of connection or have previous work with Alkaline and a Vibes Cartel, it caused some kind of issues. A whole of artists basically get scared away because you know what I say? Them know about this and them hear about that and all of these things. It's really a matter of that. And that nice went on to say, yo, the same thing that happened with Vibes Cartel is happening with Alkaline. They believe that I just want to work with a particular act, but it's not that. I just work with who is willing to work with me. You see what I say? Um, what do you think about that, viewers and subscribers? You see what I deal with? I, 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 I also notice how uh, um, uh, um, not nice to uh, take the precedence and the stance to where him, him believes a boy, him can you know, steer alkaline in the right direction like I had previously mentioned. And I have to, honestly, I have to you know, differ. You know, I definitely differ because at this particular juncture, juncture in Alkaline's career, I don't believe say yo a not nice would would have do nothing for him in a no way. I feel like say yo not nice was a thing of the past. 
You saw me I say there was a moment for that and Alkaline is where he is today. You saw me I say? Not nice, you can't blame Alkaline and you can't just blame Cartel. You, you know, it have to also have to do something about you as an individual as well. Where also your character must go around. You know, the way how you behave and all of these things have to, you know, you take into account as well. You can't just be a clean slate on your end. And and, and you gotta basically just blame two men um for, for your you know me I say for the fact that you don't nobody know to go and work with it like that. You see what I say? But people, would I like to hear your opinion nonetheless? You see what I mean, deal with? Not nice probably still believes that him can um you know provide some kind of beneficial directional um you know suggestions and uh, recommendations to Alkaline. Would I like to know what you think in the comment section? Remember, I dance our critics people. I'm out. Step on the vibe for ride